I grew up watching my dad bowl all the time, and uh, he used to run the bowling center in the city where I grew up. And um, the, the bowling center was literally two minutes away from, from where I was in school. So I always knew that uh, I had the best of opportunities to become really good at bowling. Yeah, from there it feels like everything just came to me really fast. I mean, I started to get some success and I was like, oh, maybe I can actually make this dream come true. Coming out here on tour, I, I guess I was lucky to have some early success out here and you're honored to, to be a part of the PVA. I've always just loved to play bowling and uh, you know, growing up when two-handed style was very, not very, but a little bit more unusual. Like people say, oh, you're gonna get hurt. That's not the right way to bowl, blah, blah, blah. And I always just feel like I wanna prove, prove those guys wrong. And that keeps pushing me every day to, like you still see people that don't like what you're doing. And to prove those people wrong, that's gonna keep me to just try to get better every day. It's my job and I love my job. I live in my dream. So I just try to, to stay focused every day and I mean, this is what I love to do and, and what I want to do, so I just take it as a like, good experience every time I travel and um, it's getting easier and easier to get more experience with traveling and, and different tournaments and I can just wake up and, and feel happy every morning about that I'm living my dream. Probably that they're completely right, but I mean, what am I going to say? It's It's like... That's what I like to do, and as long as the lanes allow me to do that, like the lane patterns, or and as long as urethane balls are allowed, I'm gonna keep doing it. So, I mean, I'm not making the rules, I just follow them. People are allowed to think whatever they wanna think. Um, I just try my best to inspire people to be more into bowling and get better with their bowling and be an inspiration to younger people. So, I mean, I'm, I'm always going with the thing that I'm trying can make me the best results out on the lane. So whatever that is, I'm gonna keep doing it. Obviously I'm working on my, my like, the game with, with the resting balls to, to get used to see more different shapes. Like I think the key for me is get my eyes to be used to see different ball motions and like angles and all that stuff. So I'm working on it and um, it's getting better. I started when I was about 18 and yeah, stuff have happened since then. Just got the forearm covered, got one on my leg, on my chest, on my ribs, so they're everywhere. But um, yeah, I just think it looks really cool and it's a part of me. It was uh, World Series last year when I managed to win the, the title on Cheetah. And, um, uh, while I was in Reno for the, for the World Series, I, I got a phone call from home that uh, one of my good friends passed away just a couple of days earlier, so um, it really felt like uh, he was with me in that TV show and, and really helped me. And I remember when I threw, uh, I think I struck in the ninth frame to, to win, I just raised my hands and Thanked him for being with me. I believe that he was with me that day, and, and that was emotional for sure. I think it's um, like when you're traveling as far as I do, from all the way from Sweden, and, and if you have a really bad week, and just try to shake it off and move on to the next week, because you know you're going to be here for maybe two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, and you really need to, like, you feel like you've been traveling all that way, for nothing, like, oh, did I come here to bullshit? That's no good, okay. But you really need to just try to keep pushing and moving forward and shake it off, and that can be a little tough sometimes. Then it's also good that we have a group of guys that you're always traveling with and they know how you work, and you can always get the help you need from them, and yeah, that that's, I think that's what it's all about, just try to, to turn the bad things into a positive thing, like it's gonna get you better, you realize what you need to work on or stuff like that.